Welcome to the next video in our theme, Sustainable Project Management. In the previous videos in this series, we have discussed the importance of sustainable project management and various reasons for considering sustainability in projects. We have also focused on the different dimensions of and perspectives to sustainability in projects. In this video, we will follow a bit more critical viewpoint to the question of sustainability in projects. We will especially discuss whether or to which extent sustainability plays a role in the work of a project manager and the decisions taking place in projects. In one of the first videos in this series, Tuomas discussed the three dimensions of sustainability in projects. In his discussion, Tuomas introduced the so-called triple bottom line of sustainability, in which sustainability is divided into economic, environmental and social sustainability. On the other hand, we all are familiar with the so-called iron triangle of project management from the basic courses and textbooks of project management. According to the Iron Triangle, success of a project can be evaluated in terms of schedule, cost and project scope. If we now compare the two frameworks visible in the screen, the triple bottom line of sustainability and the Iron Triangle of project management, we can raise following kinds of questions. Which of these two competing perspectives is dominant in project management? Or which of these two viewpoints is prioritized by project managers? It turns out that questions like these have received quite limited attention in the project management research. However, or unfortunately, the first preliminary research findings regarding the role of sustainability in these kinds of situations are a bit skeptical. The Dutch researcher Gilbert Sievius is one of the most established scholars in the field of sustainable project management. In one of the studies led by Sievius, experienced project managers and program managers were asked to assess the role of sustainability in their decision making in projects. Silvius and his colleagues reported the results of their study in 2017. In this article, the responses of the interviewees hinted towards a limited role of sustainability in their decision making. In other words, it seems that the dimensions of the iron triangle of project management, those being cost, schedule and process scope, tend to dominate in decision making in projects, potentially at the cost of sustainability considerations. In those situations where the role of sustainability in decision making was more evident in the responses of the interviewees, even if still a bit limited or overshadowed by the Iron Triangle, the perspective brought up the most was stakeholder engagement. In other words, the interviewees emphasized the importance of considering stakeholder needs and implementing projects together with stakeholders. Comparing these issues to the triple bottom line of sustainability, we can see a clear linkage to the dimension of social sustainability. Quoting one interviewee, when stakeholders are not involved, things can go awfully wrong. As I already mentioned earlier, there is quite little existing research available focusing on the role of sustainability in decision making in projects. In addition, we can notice some limitations in the study of Silvius and his colleagues that we just discussed. First of all, the study dates back over the several years. Due to the topicality of this question, has the role of sustainability maybe changed more recently? Second, 
The focus of this study was limited to a quite small range of industries and project types. Could the importance of sustainability be higher in different kinds of projects? Despite these limitations, the highlighted role of the Iron Triangle, especially at the cost of considering sustainability, does still raise an important question. If the role of sustainability in decision-making in projects seems to be surprisingly limited, what could be some reasons behind this limitation? In addition to Gilbert Sivevius mentioned earlier, Another example of an esteemed scholar in the field of sustainable project management is Luca Sabini. In 2021, the Italian Luca Sabini and Neil Alderman from the University of Newcastle published a study in which they focused on a highly topical but a bit controversial question. If it is so that sustainability is a global megatrend, affecting a wide range of industries throughout the world, why is it so that the role of sustainability in projects often appears a bit limited? In addition to the work of Sabini and Alderman, a similar question has been discussed in an article by Luca Carollo and Marco Guerzi. Please include this article in your reading list if you are interested in the topic. While Sabini and Alderman interviewed project managers in their study, the focus of Carollo and Guerzi was on various kinds of managers responsible for sustainability. The first potential challenge for considering sustainability in projects relates to competing timeframes. On one hand, projects are, by definition, temporary and limited or predefined in duration. On the other hand, the question of sustainability includes inherent characteristics of longer time frames and considerations of whole life cycles. Comparing these two viewpoints, one can notice some potential conflicts or tensions. It is of course true that, for example, in a well-planned project, also the overall life cycle of the solution is considered as well as possible. It is also true that, as Jere has described in an earlier video, sustainability in projects considers both the sustainability of the project implementation process and the sustainability of the project deliverables. Despite all this, the interviewees of Sabini and Alderman express various reasons for the limited consideration of sustainability in projects, including the tendency of people to focus more on shorter than longer time frames, and how project managers are the exact wrong people to focus on sustainability, because their task is to get things done. The second issue potentially challenging the consideration of sustainability is money. According to the triple bottom line of sustainability, economic sustainability is only one of the three dimensions of sustainability. In an ideal world, the three dimensions of sustainability would probably appear relatively equally in a project. That is, economic, environmental and social sustainability. However, if you do not mind a bit of a provocative wording, is it really so that economic sustainability is only one of the equally important three dimensions of sustainability? Or could it be so that it is even dominating the other two dimensions? Referring to the recent process management research, we can identify two kinds of opposite viewpoints to this question. Regarding more critical stances, project managers and other project management practitioners have expressed experiences in which for sustainability to be considered in a project, sustainability should not cost anything, sustainability should fit into the business case of a project. In a similar vein, solutions for considering sustainability are often considered too expensive or too uncertain. 
In contrast to the previous, the recent process management research has also identified sustainability as a success factor in projects. In a similar vein, in many industries, sustainability is not anymore considered only as a bonus or as something extra. Instead, it is seen as a mandatory requirement or a necessity for survival. Despite these partly conflicting viewpoints, Sabini and Alderman reach a bit of a pessimistic conclusion. According to them, it seems that if sustainability cannot be in incorporated into the business case of a project, it will often be neglected. The third potential challenge for considering sustainability in projects relates to the role of the project manager in an organization. To discuss this potential challenge, we must first focus briefly on the question why project managers as individuals or as people are interested in sustainability in their everyday work. In 2020, Gilbert Silvius and Ron Schipper published an article in which they studied exactly this question. In the findings of this study, Silvius and Schipper divide project managers into three groups – pragmatic, intrinsically motivated and task-driven project managers. Of these three groups, pragmatic project managers try to consider sustainability in their projects, especially when citable opportunities appear. Regarding intrinsically motivated project managers, they have more own passion to pursue for sustainability in their projects, mainly because they care about such, such issues. Task-driven project managers, on the other hand, limit the consideration of sustainability mostly to situations where sustainability is a defined part of the scope of a project. Irrespective of the personal viewpoints of the project manager, that is, irrespective of the project manager being pragmatic, intrinsically motivated or task-driven towards sustainability, it is very important to remember that the project manager does not implement or manage a project alone. In other words, project manager is only one piece in a larger puzzle when it comes to consideration of sustainability in a project. In their 2021 article, Sabini and Alderman bring up several interesting issues when it comes to the role of a project manager in an organization and the question of sustainability consideration. For example, the interviewed project managers emphasize the importance of convincing other people of the importance of sustainability, both inside and outside the organization. Here, one could use such terms as organizational buy-in or support from the organization. It is often not enough that one project manager would be interested in the issue if consideration of sustainability is not aligned with the goals or the ways of working in the overall organization. Regarding the same issue, we can yet again return to the role of the project client and other stakeholders. If the importance of sustainability consideration is not included in project scope or project, project requirements, how high are the possibilities for a project manager to promote sustain, sustainability in his or her project? There is a clear risk that the project manager faces the pressure of just fulfilling the requirements of the project as well as possible. On the other hand, again partly citing the study of Sabini and Alderman, this viewpoint can be also challenged or even considered a bit of an excuse. If a project manager is really interested in sustainability, couldn't he or she promote the consideration of sustainability, at least to some extent, irrespective of the project requirements? In addition to the three viewpoints I have already discussed, that is, competing timeframes, the dominance of economic sustainability, and the potentially limited role of the project manager, 
I'd like to bring up two additional challenges that the process manager may face when trying to incorporate sustainability consideration into a project. The first potential challenge relates to conflicting or competing expectations and viewpoints of stakeholders. Earlier in this video, I have already discussed the role of the process client several times. However, we do not have to limit our attention to the process client only. Instead, the viewpoints of all stakeholders are important when it comes to sustainability considerations. As an illustrative example, we can think of suppliers and subcontractors. If these kinds of stakeholders' sustainability considerations are not aligned with those of the project organization or the project client, incorporating sustainability in the project work may become challenging. A second example is project assessment in the preparation phase of a project. Irrespective of the assessment method being used, considering the viewpoints of all relevant stakeholders, that is, expectations and requirements for sustainability, can be surprisingly difficult. The second viewpoint I'd like to bring up here is the education background and experience of the project team or the project organization. The role and visibility of sustainability in the project management education and teaching has grown rapidly in the last few years. However, sustainability has not been at the core of teaching and education too long. Thus, it is very possible that in many organizations, limited skills and knowledge of the personnel create bottlenecks for considering sustainability in projects. Let's hope that this issue will improve quite fast. At the end of this video, I'd like to summarize very quickly the main messages of this video. In this video, we have noted that quite often the three perspectives of the traditional iron triangle might dominate in decision making in projects. This dominance may take place at the cost of sustainability considerations. Regarding reasons for this possible challenge, we have discussed the question of competing timeframes, emphasis of the economic dimension of sustainability, and the possible limitations in the role of the project manager. With these concluding thoughts, thank you very much for watching this video. I hope to see you in the next one.